too. Team, keep it clean. It's crazy. I'm, I'm looking at it. We just hit uh, 50,000 subscribers uh, officially. Um, and I appreciate y'all big time. Thank you so much uh, for supporting over the years. Um, thank you so much for being willing to have fun, uh, lighthearted conversations uh, about these Baltimore Ravens and just really whatever goes on in the NFL. Um, thank you for subscribing, telling your friends, family about it, uh, and, and watching the channel and maybe not even agreeing with everything that we're talking about, whether you agree or disagree. Thank you for still coming through and sharing your opinion uh, respectfully. Um, thank you for being a part of this, man. I, I appreciate y'all so much. Um, and it's just it's it's weird, man. It's it's so weird, like seeing that. But I, I, it's it's all y'all, man. It's all because of y'all, man. Straight up. So so thank you so much, like for real, man. Um. Anyway, uh, somebody else who is giving a lot of thanks. Um. This week was definitely John Harbaugh. Um. Because it was announced a few days ago that John Harbaugh would be. Uh, coming to a contract extension with the Baltimore Ravens. And I was somebody, um, I am somebody that doesn't agree uh, with them coming to a contract extension with him uh, simply for the fact that I feel like it alleviates so much of the pressure off of John Harbaugh uh, because it allows him to be complacent. And, and it's almost like sort of a re almost rewarding failure, so to speak. Uh, because you see how this season started, then you see how it ended. And yes, we know all the injuries took place, but coaching had a lot, a whole lot uh, to do with everything that went down, both good and bad. Um, so it's important that coaching is highlighted this offseason, as it has been. There's been a lot of talk of coaching this offseason. Um, and the way that the Ravens have moved is just been very, like, strange almost because it's like all right when they when the whole thing with, with Don Wink Martindale happened uh it seemed as if nobody was gonna get a pass and then uh we then we hear a couple of days later oh uh Harbaugh's about to get an extension and it's like oh okay and then of course they're they're super silent on uh Greg Roman and um then we we hear about just all of these different interviews uh, for the defensive coordinator position, who's going to take that role? And then it ends up reverting back to, to Mike McDonald. He's expected uh, to get the uh, position, but we'll see because nothing's official yet. Because apparently the Ravens interviewed the 49ers, um, no, the Bucks, the Bucks linebacker coach uh, for the spot too. So they've had a lot of interviews, as a matter of fact. Um, will anything come of those interviews? We'll see. But um, um, uh, amidst this whole thing, uh, the day that it was announced that Harbaugh was going to get a contract extension, Barstool Banks, who uh, he always comes through with some offseason heat. Um, and he made a very, very good point that made a, a lot of sense uh, and put some things into perspective when it comes to John Harbaugh getting this deal. And let's see what he had to say. He said Harbaugh was always going to get an extension. But it's happening now because it's harder to go out and shop for a defensive coordinator with your head coach having one year left on his deal. The new guy is going to want to know their stability at head coach. So that was a phenomenal point because it makes sense. Like if a coach is on a lame duck year um, or a lame duck deal, a uh, head coach to be exact, and they're looking for a defensive coordinator. Usually you, you, you're going to want to sell that defensive coordinator on reasons why he should come to your team, why he should join your staff. And even when a, a company is hiring somebody that you, you want to sell them on good reasons because it goes far beyond just pay. It goes far beyond just pay. And, and I think when, when you get a little older, you look at stuff beyond just pay because you look at benefits you look at the 401k, you look at insurance and all of that, and, and then you, you look at, some people start looking at retirement too, but you, you want to know that you'll be in a good position where, where you will be taken care of in the long run, not just the right here and the right now. You, you want that stability. So if you are looking to hire somebody and you're like, man, well, uh, uh, 
the, your manager that you're going to be working for, yeah, they're in the last year of their deals. We don't know what's going to happen with them yet. Uh, but, hey, come through. C come on. You could be like, oh, but hold up. I, oh, no, I'm mm -mm. never mind. So from that viewpoint, I can understand business wise. I can understand why I can understand that helps understand the why that puts it into a different perspective as to why the Ravens would announce this contract extension for one John Harbaugh. Now, one of the reasons that I, I didn't agree with the contract extension itself because I felt like it would mean that John Harbaugh is safe. He's safe. He's good. He ain't got nothing to worry about. But this is where things get very, very interesting for two reasons. One of those reasons, like my guy Josh brought up in the comment section a couple of days ago, said anything less than three years is a hot seat notification. Three or more years means he can get away with a whole lot more. Also, as a friend of mine pointed out, it might be harder to get a defensive coordinator with a lame duck head coach. So, and he said, Harbaugh might have known that and exercised his keen preservation instinct. Shout out to Lunch Break Hot Take. Oh, I, I, I love them boys. Shout out to uh, Jose and Brodney because they always bring in fire. But anyway, that is true. When we finally find out about the details of this contract extension, it's important that we look, not even the money, not even, well, we can look at the money, the guarantee, blah, 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 but the years. The years will, will start to tell a story on how the Ravens really feel about John Hubble. If it's what, one of my guys, my guy JT, he said that uh, with Harbaugh, if, if they just sign him to a one-year extension, that's not even guaranteed to get him out of lame duck status. That would be something right there. Now, I, I don't anticipate them doing that. I, I really don't. That would be something. But um, if with the years, if they sign him to like a one- or two-year extension, then that would be like, oh, okay. He will be signed through uh, 2020, what, five, I think? Uh, if he signed a, a two-year extension. But that's not really long-term. I mean, it kind of is, but it's really not. Not for a head coach. Not for a head coach. Um, but if they sign him to, like like my guy Josh said, like a three- or four-year extension, then that would really seem like, all right, well, <laughs> you're good. Hey, you ain't got nothing to worry about. But then we got to go back. We got to take it back to when John Harbaugh first got his job. How did he get his job? How was there a vacancy for Baltimore Ravens at the head coach position? How did that come about? Well, let's read an article from 2008, January 1st to be exact. The Brian Billick era ended unceremoniously after nine years with the Baltimore Ravens on Monday as he paid for a disastrous season with his job and a surprising reversal by team owner Steve Bashotti. So, Listen to this next sentence because it's extremely important. Well, this whole article is. But anyway, less than a month after being given private assurances by Bashadi that he would be allowed to hold on to his post. So Bashadi told him, hey, Brian Billick, trust me, you're good. You ain't got nothing to worry about, my friend. You're good. Everything is fine. You're straight. Don't, don't worry about it. You're good. So, less than a month after being given private assurances by Bashadi that he would be allowed to hold on to his post, Billick was fired the morning after, concluding a 5-11 season that began with lofty Super Bowl aspirations and nosedived into a franchise record nine-game losing streak. Well, that answered a question that I had before. Because I, I, I was forgetting, I'm like, man, have the Ravens ever lost six games in a row? But that answered that question. I had completely forgot about that. And it said the entire staff, including defensive coordinator Rex Ryan, was dismissed. Although Ryan is expected to interview for that Ravens vacancy. And unless Billick lands another NFL coaching position, this is the kicker right here. He still owed $15 million over the next three years after signing a contract extension a year ago. So uh, with that being said... Just because somebody signs a contract extension, it does not mean that they are safe. 
It doesn't mean that they're safe. It doesn't mean that, okay, oh, everything's good now. We ain't got nothing to worry about. It does not mean that. And that's something that's very important to keep in mind. Now, I'm not out, I'm not out here saying fire Harbaugh. Hi, Harbaugh needs to be fired, this and that. But I am and have been saying the philosophies have to be changed everywhere. This team has not had real success. Regular season is cute. Regular season is pretty. Regular season looks nice. But it's postseason that matters the most. And again, we're not just talking about this past season. Even though this past season, it has exposed a lot. It's exposed a lot. And it's gave you another reminder that, hey, without Lamar, this ship sinks like that, like that. For one game, hey, one game, you can get by. But this ship will sink. Lamar in first place in the AFC. Not AFC, first place in the AFC. Lamar out, last place in the division. Last place in the division. I saw somebody say, Oh man, Lamar Jackson, he saved, he saved John Harbaugh's job in 2018. And we all know that's certainly the truth. But then I saw, oh, I saw somebody say, oh, but he, he saved it this year now too. From, from, from being inserted in, in 2018, Lamar Jackson saved John Harbaugh's job. And from being taken out, the same thing ended up happening. Because John Harbaugh had a reason. John Harbaugh had an excuse as to why. He had an excuse to his why, why this happened, why that happened, why we failed, why we came up short, why we didn't make adjustments, why we couldn't get the job done, why we finished six straight losses. All he got to do is say, hey, I didn't have Lamar. I didn't have him. So again, my point with all of this is that the philosophy's got to be better. The way that Ravens approach this offseason has got to be better. The way that the Ravens go about doing their daily business, it has got to be better. Because this, this Ravens team, we know that they are very capable of doing so much. We know that they're very capable of having so much success. But everything, like we've been saying, everything starts at the top. It starts at the top. But it is nice. It, it was a nice reminder reading this article from 2008. The fact that just because when he does get his extension, it does not mean that, all right, Harbaugh, you are off the hot seat. It does put some ice on his cheeks in his hot seat. It certainly does. They, it seems like the Ravens, they drove to McDonald's and they said, no, I don't want a meal. Just give me a couple of bags of ice. Because we got to have Harbaugh sit on this because it seemed as if the seat was warming up just a little bit, just a tiny bit. But then the Ravens were like, no, 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 no. We, let, let, let's, let's cool this thing down. And for me, personally, I felt like, you really, I feel like they would have got the best Ravens team if they would have had John Harbaugh riding out the last year of his deal. Oh, man, I, I feel like they would have been straight, man. If they healthy and you got Harbaugh with his back against the wall... Oh, that, that's when you usually see his best coaching. That's when you usually see it with the back against the wall. What happened this year? though? What happened? But anyway, so team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Just some quick updates before we get out of here. We put out the, the, the last question from subscriber video that we had recorded Back before just all the craziness started happening, um, that video was recorded on January 20th. It's, it's January 27th. So a lot has changed in seven days, as we know. Um, but that was the last sort of throwback question from subscriber. So any questions from subscribers moving forward will be updated. Um, and and it, it depends on what the Ravens do next. Because, you know, like they they've been dropping bomb after bomb after bomb. So we're going to see what happens. Um, but I love y'all again. Thank you so much for 50,000 subscribers. Thank you. 
just it, it's, it's still crazy, man. But I appreciate y'all. So I love you. I hope that you have a fantastic, phenomenal, amazing day with whatever you're going to get yourself into. Stay safe. Stay smart. Stay up. Stay happy. Stay positive. All that good stuff. I love y'all. We out. You see my boy, he like gotta made it. Gotta made it. Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graven? Right and graven. Shout out to graven.